With chapter 23 being called The Spies while focusing so heavily on the Mandalorian plot, that has to mean it's not just referring to Elia Kane at the start in that there is a spy inside the Mandalorians, working for Moff Gideon. I think it's safe to say that it's not Din, Bo-Katan, Grogu, or Paz, considering his current situation, and I feel like they wouldn't just make it some background rando mando. That leaves us with the armor, Axe Woves, Koska Reeves, and one of the survivors that they picked up along the way. The fact that Gideon didn't know about the attack on Navarro would seem to take away suspicion from the armor and put it back onto Axe, Koska, or the survivors. The survivors would have had access to go back to the forge occasionally, so they could have known that there was an Imperial base there, and them driving the Mandalorians towards that trap could be a point against them. But Gideon didn't seem surprised that Bo-Katan had the Darksaber instead of Din, so that's something that I don't know that the survivors would have been able to reasonably tell him. Darksaber information and not knowing about Navarro could be a sign that it's Axe or Casca. Axe finding a reason not to be at the base during the attack puts some more suspicion on him as well. That part is also true for the armor, however, and she also shares the Maul-esque horns with Gideon's armor. Considering Gideon planned to lure them all in together, the armor was also the catalyst for sending Bo-Katan out and may feel like most current Mandalorians, along with many killed in the earlier purges, had been betraying the old ways, so there's a possible motivation for her that I don't know if other Mandalorians have. So to me, Axe and the Armorer both feel like they're viable candidates. Let me know what you think in the comments, though.